guys how are you guys doing hope you're all doing well so today's video is a request video from you one of you guys uh it's a request video from let me just see um sweet lady t saw my bag um, she is the coach um saw this and she is requesting if i can do a review for this bag so that's what i'm doing today this bag i purchased uh last um december uh to be exact it, i purchased this december of uh 22nd 2019 so i have this bag for almost six months now in the color chalk so it's not totally white it's a bit of a off white has the horse and carriage here and then the coach um uh name on it and then on the back there's a, a pocket a big pocket uh that you can put phone you can put multiple phones not just one phone and then uh it has two big uh zip compartment on the back of the compartment uh you will see there's a slide packet here i keep the receipts and um the tag and the care card i always keep that along with the bag so i don't forget what's it called because i usually don't remember and then i have the strap here we'll talk about the strap later this is my favorite part of the bag and then there's another packet here in front and it's just plain one there's no um extra compartment here so i do love light colored bags specifically white colored bags a lot of my friends are ask, always ask me, I get it dirtied or is there a color transfer that's happening with my white bags? Yes, there will be a color transfer because it's a crossbody. Most of my white bags is shoulder, shoulder bags. So, uh, and I usually wear like something that doesn't really bleed, like my clothes doesn't bleed, like, you know, your blouses doesn't bleed really. I don't I can't really think of any blouses that any of my blouses that has color that will transfer to any of my white bags but my pants if I'm wearing a jeans uh, with this one because with this one because it's crossbody and when I wear jeans I notice the first time it has it color transfer the transfer color into this so as soon as I notice it guys I actually clean it with water and microfiber cloth and it just wiped away so it it's gone like there's no um, I'm it's gone now you'll see there's a wear and tear in around here because this is where it's rubbing against my clothes my body but it doesn't look ugly at all it just you can see the wear and tear but there's no color transfer anymore so I just actually cleaned this with a letter cleaner from Coach. I just bought one um, yesterday and I clean it and it's, I don't know if it's translating the true color guys, but it's beautiful. It's, it still looks really beautiful. So the wear and tear, there's no uh, corner. Uh, I don't see any scratches in the corner here. Uh, the hardware is gold and it's the shiny gold. Uh, it's not the antique one, which I love. It's a classic coach tag. And um, yeah, so I, I, I can't complain. This bag is one of the most used bag in my collection. The number one, I would say, because of the functionality. Like, I just like it. it um, so the measurement, guys. Uh, I'm just looking at the website. So the length of the bag from here to here is first nine and three quarters um inches nine and three quarters and then the height from here to here is six and a quarter and then the width is uh three and a half and then for the strap which is so versatile i use this pretty much with a lot of my bags so i i my cassie i use I wear my Kazi uh, all the time with these straps. I don't even use the original strap that comes with it because the black one, I find it uh, too boring just to wearing all black. So I always put this on and it, and then my pink Kazi, my color black, uh, the, the pink one, I use this as well. So um, 
and then I use this with my trail bag as well. So the drop for the strap is 22 inches. The shortest uh, length because I'm short. And if you're taller than me, which everyone is taller than me, uh, you can adjust it. So you can remove and adjust it. There's three holes in it. Yeah. Is it worth it? Yes, I can say. And if, do I recommend it? Yes, I do recommend 100%. I actually went to the outlet yesterday hoping that I can get the red one uh, but they don't have the red one they only have the green dark green one and I don't really like the strap of the green one so I didn't get it so I, but I want the red one so hopefully I'll find it and I think I'm gonna look in online the only thing I don't like ordering online um, coach outlet is uh, uh, US dollars and I find it conversion wise it's more expensive if I bought it online if I buy it online yeah so I just don't like uh, buying it online so I rather buy it at the store because I find it more expensive as I mentioned so guys this is the bag that I'm using today it's my Karl Lagerfeld uh, so I'm just gonna take out everything that's in here and just put it on the table so I have my four key ring holder I have my um, earphones my card holder I have a hand sanitizer my pouch and my work cell phone yeah so that's all that's in here you guys can see now oh, it's empty I don't keep anything on the zipper so that's that now we're going to put everything in this bag. So this is what fits inside the prawn pocket. Okay, everything that was in here goes in here and it's in the front pocket. Okay. I don't have anything in the back except for the receipt. So let me just grab um, my umbrella and whatever else I can put in. All right, so I have my umbrella. It's from Coach as well. I have this for a couple of years already. Put that in the back there. I actually have my eyeglasses, my Prada eyeglasses. Put that in there. I'll put the mint in here. And I still have room. So I think a, a small water bottle will fit in here. I don't carry a water bottle with me. I always have the reusable one and it's big so it won't fit here. So yeah. So that's what fits inside my uh, my jazz bag. And actually, I, I'm filming with my um, iPhone 11. But I can still fit in, in here, right? So there's still room in here to put the iPhone, my other phone yeah so that's it guys that's what fits inside I mentioned earlier i i went to the outlet yesterday i'm hoping to get the red one of this but i didn't get it i didn't find it so um uh they only have the green one but i didn't like the strap that comes with it so i didn't purchase that but something caught my eye and um i purchased something little and it's in this bag you guys so i bought that letter cleaner um and then i got this guys i got them this is uh let me see what's this called uh this is let me just see it is called rose bouquet belt bag and i got the matching card case uh, originally you know how much card cases i think original 95 dollars and i got it for 24 dollars and this one originally according to my receipt was 298 dollars and it was um 87.89 for this one and you guys it's so tiny and a surprise about it is when we were opening it and the sales associate was opening it, she told me, I didn't know, I thought it was just a belt bag. I will never use it as a belt bag. It will be on cross body, a short cross body for me. And I will show you how it looks like on. 
So I thought it was just comes with the, this, right? It's a belt bag. But it actually comes with a um, crossbody bag, uh, strap. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited. It's very thin, guys. And it's a bit too long for me. But it has that, uh, I don't know what this is called. It's like, is this an infinity or... But you can, I think I will ask my husband to put a hole in here. Or maybe I can get, bring it to coach. I'm not sure if they would do that. So, yeah, so... This is way too long, but I still I can still make it work, and I will sh show you guys a clip how I would wear it. And then, you guys, as I mentioned, this is my favorite part of the Jess uh, crossbody bag. This actually looks good with this purse. You guys, I just can't, like, I'm telling you. Look, guys. It looks beautiful with this strap. So guys, what do you think about this? Isn't it a good find? I really, in, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to um, using this actually. And I don't really do matchy matchy, but I was like, okay, like I can use this even with the Jess crossbody, right? So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope this helps uh, for a sweet lady tea. I'm making sure I'm pronouncing your um, username for Sweet Lady T. Thank you for requesting this video. And if you any of you has a request, um, have a request for me or what video you want to see from me, just let me know down below. We'll gladly film it and do it for you guys. So yeah, and uh, if you guys are new and not subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that uh, like button if you like this video. If you don't like it, maybe you can do this like button. <laughs> Yeah, so, but, you know, everybody's friends here and leave them comment down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!